Okay, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Let's continue where we stopped. So we need to look for the key on Montclair Troops, the key that unlocks the noble cells. So we got the key already. I knew Father would send someone for me. He's the ambassador from Malik here. Did I mention that? And that horrible Argonian, Rizal Jewel, said he would turn me into a powerful creature. Why would I want that? <laughs> Trust me, you don't want that. I prayed that I wouldn't be left to that... that lizard's torture. They poked and prodded me. I'm of House Tamarith. How dare they? Okay. Stop. I'm surprised Baron Dorel didn't accompany you here. He's never been one to shy away from getting his hands bloody in defense of house and country. Why are you so anxious to help resolve the situation in Shornhelm? Shornhelm's stability affects all of Rivenspire. If Montclair and his allies take over the city, I fear all of Rivenspire would soon fall. And then they would look beyond our borders. He's always fancied himself the true heir to Rance's throne. Yeah, that doesn't explain everything, though. I usually leave politics to the other nobles. I prefer to deal quietly with more unusual problems. As for the why of things, call it an obligation. But now is not the time to discuss the past. Okay. I suspect that Rosal Jewel is behind that stone door, along with his boy. We need to stop him from bringing through more reinforcements. I have no time to deal with these fools. Kill them! Kill them all! Where is it going? Feel the magic. There's a portal close by. We need to close it before we're overrun by more Montclair soldiers. So close the portal. What are you waiting for? I should be able to close the portal. It won't take me more than a few seconds. There. That should keep them out. Shornhelm will be safe now. I shall begin my research at once. Try to determine where Razal Jewel has gone. In the meantime, 
You should seek out the High King. This pork. I will take it. What's this? More pork? We can use it. Venison, we can use that. With the portal closed, we've stopped Rosal Jewel from sneaking more Montclair troops into the city. It's frustrating, though, that Rosal Jewel slipped away. That Argonian is sly and cowardly. Any idea where he disappeared to? No. And that's what worries me. He must be tracked down and dealt with. Swiftly. Thanks to your efforts, though, Montclair's plan to take control of Shornhelm has been stopped. You should inform High King Emmerich and the other nobles. Uh, is the High King in Shornholm? According to my sources, he was close before I entered the Mews. I have no doubt that the Shornhelm Guard has reclaimed the upper city. I assume Dorel, Tamrith, and the High King are even now in Shornhelm Castle. Give Emmerich my regards. Pity what do you mean? I thought there was a beggar here. I, I don't see anything. Here we have the savior of Shornhelm, I presume. You should know that Baron Dorel and Countess Tamrith have been quite generous in their praise of you. I trust you were able to close this portal Montclair was using to bring in reinforcements? Yeah, Verandus Revenwatch was with me and he closed the portal. I'm not surprised. Verandus and I go back many years. He has a habit of making people nervous, but I've been trying to reassure Baron Dorel and Countess Tamrith he is loyal to the people of Rivenspire. Did you also defeat this Rizal duel? No, he escaped. Hmm. Then I suppose we'll have to track him down, he and Montclair both. I fear Montclair's ambitions may be far greater than simply conquering all of Rivenspire. It's better we stop him now. Okay, so we can now help you whatever way I can. Thanks to you, we have an excellent start here in Shornhelm, and I will devote my resources to fortifying the city as quickly as possible. We're secure here now, and we have to ensure it remains that way. Shornhelm may be secure, but reports from other parts of the kingdom suggest Montclair is stirring up trouble everywhere. Countess Tamrith and Baron Dorel will each take a detachment of the Shornhelm Guard and go investigate these reports. So what do we do? What can I do? As you might have guessed, I'm thinking you are best suited for tracking down Rizal Jewel and making sure he doesn't go opening any more portals into Shornhelm. Did Verandis perhaps mention any suspicions of where this rat may have scurried off to? No, he was going to look into it himself. Then I suggest you join him. Knowing Verandis, he's returned to Ravenwatch Castle to study whatever evidence he may have found. You'll find it west of the city near the town of Crestshade. I'm counting on the two of you to stop Rizal Jewel, and soon. Okay. I should warn you. Ravenwatch Castle is as strange as the man who owns it. His family is very old and they have...
strange traditions. Don't worry, though. I have no doubt about the fact that he's on our side. You may rely on anything he says. Okie dokie. This uh, castle is. It's quite a distance away. Let's not write it. Let's uh, portal it. Let's just go. But I'm not Haven at that place up there. Tall Papa, please keep the ghosts at bay. Everyone has issues and they want me to solve them. There are only 12 hours in a day. I can't help everyone. When does my child slow down? You eat too fast. You don't want to harm poor Carlin. We need to feed to get stronger. When Montclair shows up, I want to be ready. That is not our way, child, and you know it. Stop feasting, now. Fine, whatever. I mean... I'm sorry, Count Brandis. You know I only want to help. Of course, my child. Now, let's clear away our meal and welcome our friend. Carlin, as always, I thank you for sharing your life's blood with us. I live to please, my lord. Okay, now I see the strange traditions. Why not just say they're vampires? I apologize if the scene before you makes you uncomfortable. I did not expect you to arrive during our mealtime. As for why I kept my true nature hidden, well, let's just say that Emmerich insisted, and one does not refuse the High King lightly. So you were a vampire this whole time? I have been called far worse, but I prefer to think of myself and my companions as gifted. We are not ashamed of our condition. We are not monsters. Now this is the part where you gasp and ask calmly, how can I trust you? Well, the High King said I can trust you. The High King is a wise man, which is why I supported him and not the Mad King, Rancer. We all have the ability to make our own decisions. Long ago, I decided to live in peace with the mortal world not feast upon it. Can you tell me anything that can help us deal with Montclair? You were able to drive off Rosal Jewel and take back Shornell. Those were no small feats, I assure you. But Emmerich needs our help to restore Rivenspire's tranquility. You need to understand, there is more to Montclair than simple ambition. You've hinted at this before. Tell me what you're talking about. Walk with me and I will explain. There is much I need to show you, and time grows short. Adusa, please make sure Gwendis behaves herself. Poor Carlin needs time to recover. The little one gets no dessert this evening. Adusa will make sure. To understand the path of Montclair. Sometimes they treat me as though I were a child. I may be new to this life, but I'm nobody's child. Well, except for my mother and my father. my own memory. Memories are elusive shadows, hiding truths behind our own perceptions. But what if someone else could examine them? What would they see that we do not? I'd like to try something, if you're willing. This potion will allow you to dreamwalk through my memories. Perhaps your eyes will see what I have missed. I would never bring an outsider into my memories if I didn't believe it was imperative. The memories we will revisit, they are painful for me, 
It is with a heavy heart that I ask you to embark upon this journey with me. So I need to know more before I agree to this. Ask your questions then. I will answer what I can. So, what if I choose not to drink the potion? Then we learn nothing new. Montclair continues his campaign and Riven Spire eventually falls. It is inevitable. Please. As you will see, I have blind spots where Montclair is concerned. I need a fresh perspective to determine our next moves. <sighs> Fine. I must say, it's rather strange seeing you as me. Mother, please. You have to take the medicine. Rizal Jewel can help you. Sweet daughter. I can't go on like this. I don't want to spend my final days as an experiment. Instead, let me spend them with the ones I love. Even in retrospect, reliving this is difficult. Her pain, her suffering. She had so much courage. There has to be something more we can do. Ferrandis, can I talk to you for a moment? Layla doesn't have much time. I know it. She knows it. She's trying to be so strong, but... I swore I would never ask this of you. It goes against everything I believe in. But damn it. She's my wife. I don't want to lose her. So I guess he's asking us to turn her into a vampire. So he's saying, no, you can't ask that of me. I know, I know. You swore an oath. No one should ever have to endure the things you've gone through because of what you are. But you're alive. That's more than my wife will be if you don't help her. Well, she deserves a better fate than becoming a vampire. You can't make that decision for her. Neither can I. But you can give her a chance. I know you care about her. You can't just stand there and watch her die. All right, let's ask her what she wants to do. Thank you. I know she'll make the right decision. She may no longer be the woman I know, but at least she'll be alive. She'll be with me. I can still love her. My dear friend, Verandas, I'm glad you're here. You've always been so good to our family. I... I never really thanked you for that. Right, well, it's no need to thank me. You're a good friend to me as well. Verandas. After I'm gone, you need to continue to watch over my family. Wylan will need your strong, steadying presence more than ever. There is a way to avoid this. No, my friend. Your gift isn't the solution. Not for me. I refuse to accept an existence that forces me to watch as my children, my husband, Everyone I know ages before my eyes. Of course, as you wish. Something's wrong. I have vague recollections of talking to someone else. But why can't I remember? You need to look around, see what we missed. Ah, here's Rizal Jewel. This is hopeless. Baron Montclair forces me to mix concoctions that I know won't do any good. If he just listened to me, I could show him exactly how to heal his wife and end her suffering. What are you talking about? I'm talking about knowledge and ancient magic. I'm talking about the forgotten arts of the aliens themselves. Would you deny Our Lady any chance for a cure, no matter what the source? I want to see the Baroness filled with all my heart. I happen to possess an alien relic, or at least a shard from one. But the Baron won't listen to me, especially since Our Lady started refusing my help. If I give you this stone, will you present it to the Baron? He listens to you, my friend. All right, get the shard. I'll convince Wallen to use it. I knew I could count on you, Veranda's Raven Watch. Without your help, my friend, 
I would never have recalled that Rizal Jewel led us to the alien relic. What else have I forgotten? Three cheers for Varandis! He gave me the means to save my beautiful wife. Yes, to our dear friend Varandis. How can we ever repay him? He is great, isn't he? And so handsome. But I want to cheer about this wine. By the divines, this stuff is we were delicious! so happy at this moment. We were all together, friends and family, enjoying each other's company for the final time. Verandas, may I speak to you for a moment? Alone? I... I don't recall speaking with Layla. Why can't I remember that? All right, I guess we'll find out when we come back. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with more Elder Scrolls Online.